welcome to Know Your Mobile. I'm Basil here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the LG Optimus G Pro. The LG Optimus G Pro is the latest quad-core beast announced from LG today. It packs a 1.7 GHz Qualcomm 600 processor along with a full HD display and it really, really is a phenomenally spec device. But how does it compare against everyone's favorite Android out at the moment, the Samsung Galaxy S3? Well, kicking off with the design, and you can see that they share the same design language, but the Samsung Galaxy S3 is considerably more curvaceous. Um, it packs that very, very plasticky, but That's at the same time, ergonomic trim, feeling very slim That's in the hand. The Optimus G Pro is considerably blockier. Um, it packs a silver trim, but not glossy, it's matted. And removable back covers, which enable this folio style interaction with the physicality of the device. It also packs wireless charging, as you can see, um, along with a very, very cool IR blaster up top. So that means you can control your television from your Optimus G Pro. Speaking of televisions, this phone has the same number of pixels that's likely in yours. 1080p at 5.5 inches is immense, giving it a PPI of above 400. The Samsung Galaxy S3 packs a 720p display, so it won't compete on the PPI front. It is AMOLED, so a different kind of screen technology. Um, it packs maybe more vibrant colors and deeper blacks. However, it definitely doesn't pack as pure whites as the LG Optimus G Pro or the IPS display technology within. If we look at other elements of the, user in, uh, the screen, we can see this user interface inside. We mentioned both run Android 4.1. However, Samsung's TouchWiz is thick on the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is quite a heavy skin, but the LG Optimus G Pro won't be outdone. It also packs a heavy skin as well. The G Pro skin is quite fluffy. It's cartoony almost, candy flossy. It looks like fun. In the applications drawer, you can see you can have folders in the applications drawer as you can with the Samsung one. Um, and there's a lot to love about these really, really neat skins. If you're not an Android purist, if you are an Android purist though, then you definitely, definitely will want to opt for something like a Google Nexus 4 as neither of these will float your boat. As far as cameras go, there's an 8 megapixel camera on the reverse of the Samsung Galaxy S3, whereas on the reverse of the LG Optimus G Pro is that 13 megapixel Sony sensor. That was people kissing next to me, by the way. Just so you know, we're in Spain, that's what people do. Anyway, back to the phones. Um, right. So, 30 megapixel sensors, LG borrow really, really heavily, really heavily from Samsung on this one. So if we jump into the user interface, we can see long pressing on one of these icons pulls up a grid virtually identical to Samsung's. Crazy. Um, having said that, the 30 megapixel sensor will likely deliver completely different results. So you have to check out back to knowyourmobile.com to see how the camera on the LG Optimus G Pro performs. Um, moving on to other UI features, if we pull down the notifications bar, both have drop down. However, LG have something called Quick Memo, which we've seen in the past LG in past LG devices, such as the um, Optimus 4X G4X. You lose track of names, right? Um, so if we press Quick Memo, we can see we can draw all over the screen. Uh, the 5.5 inch display really, really helps uh, give your finger room to breathe. There's also a quick memo button, so we don't even need to pull down the notifications bar to create that quick memo and then share the screenshot with our chums. Um, in terms of storage, you've got 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of memory on the Samsung Galaxy S3, whereas the LG Optimus G Pro packs 32 gigabytes of internal memory along with micro SD expandables, even with both of them. There's a 2100 milliamp battery inside the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, and there is a 3100 milliamp battery in the LG Optimus G Pro, although that bigger screen, higher um, pixel density, and indeed, that faster, more powerful processor, 1.7 gigahertz Qualcomm 600, whoops, sorry about that, will definitely, definitely, uh, that was someone playing with the TV the other day, will definitely weigh on that battery heavily. Being smaller than the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 uh, battery, we're a little bit dubious as to how long that will last. Um, there is this really cool back cover effect. As you can see, the folio gives you a range of customization options. So there will be a lot there for you to get um, creative with in terms of the look and feel of your phone. Ultimately, it's really going to come down to which one you prefer. Do you want a smaller handset? Maybe the screen won't be quite as good. Um, however, it will still be perfectly pocketable. Or do you want a slightly larger handset with that perfect, glorious 1080p display, ideal for movie consumption? This has been Basil with the Samsung Galaxy Note, uh, sorry, Galaxy S3 and the LG Optimus G Pro comparing both of these gorgeous phones for you. Um, I'm at Mobile World Congress. Stay tuned to Know Your Mobile's YouTube channel for more videos from here. And if you enjoyed it, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the page. Thanks for watching Know Your Mobile.